Hey, my name is Steve Yallo and I'm a travel vlogger from the United States and this is episode four of my series bringing you around the country of Sri Lanka. Previously, I explained how this series is broken up into two different parts. In the first part, I'll be joining a group of other creators on a trip organized by the Sri Lanka Tourism Board. And then I'll be switching it up completely, traveling solo on my own, where I rent a tuk-tuk and drive myself around the country. And since this is episode four, let me quickly catch you up on where we've traveled so far. So as a group, we started our trip in the northern part of Sri Lanka, in the city of Jaffna. Then we went down to the area of Sigiriya with the famous Lion Rock. And in the previous episode, we visited both cities of Kandy and Nuarelia. And that's where we're beginning this episode, number four, in Nur Elia. And then we drive all the way back to Nagumbo because this is our last day together as a group. But don't worry, now this is where my solo travels begin and you get to see that shift in the middle of this episode. So I'm excited to take you along for this adventure, but for now, it's time to roll the intro. driving down the road and we are driving through such a beautiful landscape that we had to pull over and just appreciate this because even on the other side too oh my goodness this is incredible ah oh, we're leaving the mountains today so let's all just take this in and appreciate it mountain okay back in the van you want to try guava it's a guava yes like yeah, sure. yeah yeah just eat like this Ooh. We have Sri Lanka around 50 different varieties of guava. My first time. First time ever guava. eating guava? Hmm. Wow. It's sour. Not quite good. It's like hard inside, right? It has yeah. hard seeds. Mm. Yeah. You, you just told us that there's over 50 different types of guava in. I almost said Colombia. We're not in Colombia. We're in Sri Lanka. <laughs> <laughs> I was like looking for you. I was like, hey, vlog me. I found some guava. I don't really like it that much. <laughs> He said there's over 50 different types of guava in this country. That's the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, how, how do you like my new fashion statement with my neck pillow? Should I wear this every day, all day? <laughs> Eventually, we stopped spitting guava everywhere and we got back in the vans and drove through the windy mountain roads from New Aurelia to the town of Kitugala. This area of Sri Lanka is the wettest part of the country and most famous for the whitewater rafting, so we came here for one last exciting adventure. Alright guys, it is the adventure I've been waiting for this whole trip. Hopefully this is going to be a little bit better than what we experienced in East Java. If you haven't seen that series, Pema and I, last month we traveled around East Java, Indonesia, and at one point we did go rafting. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link it up above right there so you can check it out. But yeah, Pema ended up falling out of the raft, getting trapped under there for a few seconds, and that was pretty scary. And we lost a GoPro. So hopefully none of that will happen today. It'll be fun. And filled with adrenaline, but good adrenaline. <laughs> So I'm gonna put this camera away, we're gonna switch over to the GoPro. Okay, we've made it to our rafting destination. We parked, we're gonna get the raft down, everybody has their paddles, and we're gonna hike to the bottom of the river.
guys, the rapids are all over and now it's time for a swim. You guys wanna jump in? After an exciting rafting adventure, we all shared our last Sri Lankan lunch together. Then hopped in the van and drove all the way from Kitagala to Nagumbo. This is the city closest to the airport, and since everyone on the trip except me is leaving tomorrow, we checked into our final hotel. It is very windy in here, and we're trying to do the traditional lighting of the lamp, but it's, it's a little difficult. My turn? Yep. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can make that happen. Yeah, got it. It's lit. It's lit, Diana. It's your turn. You can get it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Don't let it go. Out. Oh no! That's it. Get out of here. Leave. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice when we first arrived, but this hotel is right on the beach. This is so beautiful. Ah, from the mountains to the beach, this is a great day. I'm so happy. Whoa. <laughs> so this whole trip we've been traveling with a company called Jetwing, that's who's been providing the transportation, I believe. And now we're staying at a Jetwing hotel right on the beach here in the gumbo. And this room is so beautiful. What is going on over here? <laughs> This room is super nice. This bathroom has a shower and a tub with a big glass wall that you can see out in the room. We have a beautiful balcony view. This place is really nice. Unfortunately, we're only here for one night, but we're gonna enjoy it for this one night that we're here. After we settled in, we all met for a candlelit dinner right on the beach. We had some delicious food and just enjoyed our last moments together as a group. Probably. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. You miss him. Hey, girl. <laughs> <Slash> girl. <laughs> Something very sad has happened today. Everybody has left me. Today marks the end of our trip with the Sri Lankan Tourism Board. I had an amazing time. Honestly, this was much better than I expected. Before coming to Sri Lanka, I did have my doubts because of the recent events that happened on Easter and all of the mass media portraying Sri Lanka as a dangerous place. But to be honest, after traveling and seeing Sri Lanka myself, I believe it's the exact opposite. And honestly, throughout my whole trip, I've felt very safe. Security is at an all-time high, and they really do their part to ensure the safety of the locals and foreigners visiting this country. And unfortunately, everybody left through the middle of the night or really early, so I wasn't able to capture a goodbye on video. But for me, my trip is not over. I still have another two weeks here in Sri Lanka. So I'm gonna be doing something very interesting. I'm renting a tuk-tuk. I just confirmed this yesterday. And I'll be driving myself around in a tuk-tuk. If you're not familiar, a tuk-tuk is a three-wheeled vehicle. I have personally never driven a tuk-tuk before, so I think this is gonna be pretty interesting, trying to learn and maneuver my way around a foreign country and a vehicle I've never driven before. But anyway, I'm going to be bringing you along for that. For now, I'm going to enjoy my breakfast waiting here still at Jetwing Hotel in Gumbo. And in, a, in about 30 minutes, I'm going to be hopping in a van and going to Colombo, where we started this trip. I'm going to be staying at a really nice hotel for two days. After traveling around for so long, for 10 days and every day, go, 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 go. I'm going to spend two days in Colombo to kind of relax, catch up, maybe edit some videos and enjoy my time and then pick up <laughs> the tuk-tuk in two days and start my solo travel adventure. All right, I'm hungry, so hopefully this food comes soon and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace. Thank you.
you very much. Yeah, nice to meet you. It was great meeting you. Yeah, thank you for everything. I just vibe to meet you again. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I'll be back for sure. 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 Thank you okay. so much for bringing sure. me. Thank you. Saying goodbye to Judah. Bye. Bye. -bye. All right. Just arrived here at Movenpick Hotel. This place is enormous. Let's go check it out. Okay, I just checked in. My bags are downstairs. They're being brought up right now. Walking to my room, I noticed I'm in the corner. I haven't been in here yet. So let's see what this room looks like and get my initial reaction on camera. Holy fuck. <laughs> There's a bathtub in the room? What? <laughs> All right, living in luxury for the next two days. This is crazy beautiful. Whoa, the shower has a friggin' view. <laughs> what? I can see the ocean from my shower. This is crazy. Wow, all right, this is beautiful. <laughs> Oh, perfect. Honestly, what I'm really most excited about is getting work done here. And I have a beautiful desk with a lovely ocean front view. Wow. <laughs> okay, I don't think I'll leave this room for the next two days. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> I think the beauty of this place calls for a nice cinematic sequence. What do you think? Wanna hit it? You hear the music? You hear the music? It's building up? It's building up? Here we go. All right, welcome to a cinematic tour of Movenpick. I've been enjoying my time in the nice hotel room, living a little bit of a luxury lifestyle. Yeah. But now it is almost time for my next adventure. So right now I'm riding in the back of a tuk-tuk. And funny, I'm actually on the way to go pick up my own tuk-tuk. So I'm going to be driving something just like this very, very soon. Wow. I'm going there to actually learn how to drive it. I've never driven a tuk-tuk before, but I'm going there and they're going to teach me how to drive, so let's go for the adventure. This is a TTR manual, okay. which gives you basically each and every inch of detail about your tuk tuk. So let me go through the most important ones. Yeah, so this is yours. Yeah. Thank you. This is uh, Steve. Hello, hello. So nice to meet you too. So he will take you through your driving lesson and uh, anything about the controls of this. Is this the one I'm going to be driving? <laughs> is this the one? Yeah. 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 This is it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. <laughs> Looks beautiful. <laughs> Woo. All right, guys. Here is my tuk tuk. And what's your name? Susanta. Susanta. All right. He has just given me a little lesson as to how to drive this. And now it's my turn to try and drive this myself for the first time. You're a very good teacher. Let's see if I could put his teachings to the test. Wait, 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 wait. 